Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and uh, I'm going back to uh, video recording now. Um, I was doing a lot of audio recording because I was running out of footage, but I kind of uh, took cleared out my storage, uh, so now I can start, you know, recording again. And so uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing because all you see is my boring face, but um, I'm going to be talking about a couple things. I'm going to wrap this video up. It is August a uh, 28th, 2022. We're getting near the end of summer. Uh, summer for me has been, um, it's been a blessing. I've, uh, I've had my problems, but, you know, like I, the Lord always gets me through it. And um, I've definitely have had some awkward situations uh, this, this past summer and really this past year. And, uh, and I've had a lot of things that I've learned, but, you know, the good thing about it is I've learned and um and I, i'm blessed and i've had a blessed summer and um you know i think it's been for the most part pretty productive and uh that's the main thing that matters um so i've been handing out a lot of gospel tracks because i got uh gospel tracks uh from the fair and you know i'll just pray that they, they plant seeds and you know that people will think and consider it and they will get saved um, and I'm going to hopefully, Lord willing, get some more gospel tracts. I'm going to, uh, Shenandoah County Fair here in, uh, Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Uh, Lord willing, it'll probably be next weekend. And I'm hoping there that I'll be able to get some more tracts. If they're good, if they're biblical, if I think they're biblical, I'll share them. If I think that there's something like heretical or something, then I won't share them. Um, so if I'm going to get gospel tracts, uh, it better be good, but I'm definitely going to be checking them out. Um... Uh, so, um, you know, I've been thinking about a lot of things, um, uh, a lot of things that I'm praying about, and if you're a Christian, please pray for me about certain things, you know, I, I had a meeting at the place where I worked, and I learned some things about, you know, leadership and management and stuff like that, and, um, uh, and I've been, you know, having some problems at my job, been thinking about getting a new job, I'm praying about that. Uh, for right now, I think I'm going to stay where I'm at, but uh, in winter or next year, uh, I might, I'm, I'm praying maybe to try something different, Lord willing, or I'm going to do whatever the Lord wills, and you know, be, pray, be praying for me for that. Um, also, I'm looking for a church, still haven't got a church yet, please pray for me for about that, because I'm looking for a fellowship and stuff like that. I am celebrating 10 years of being a born-again Christian, I shared my testimony on my Facebook, and I, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to be uh, doing a video on all of my channels, and I'm going to be talking about uh, my life story. It's going to be about my testimony, my life story, and stuff like that. Just to celebrate, you know, what God has done for my life, and, you know, just to, uh, you know, show that God can save anyone. If He can save someone like me, He can save anybody. I am reading in Second Chronicles right now, currently in the Bible. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and read a scripture that relates to, you know, being born again. Uh, let's go ahead and check out 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You know, the, these past 10 years, they've been uh, challenging. And, uh, you know, there was a couple of times where, you know, I messed up on some things. And I went through persecution. And um, I, had the ten I had the temptation to really give up. I had fears. I, I had doubts, I had a whole new life, and I was going through persecution from family, friends, and, uh, you know, I, I, I just, uh, I was wondering if I would even go one, but, you know, God got me through it all, and God is still helping me get through it, and I face those battles every day, I, I face war with the enemy, but, you know, the Lord gets me through it, and uh, I just praise God that I'm not the same person who I used to be heading to hell, and that I got my sins forgiven, and I'm a new person, and... Um, and even if I, if sometimes like I might mess up, you know, I'll, 
if I uh, unintentionally commit like a sin or ignorance and uh, Lord willing, I try to avoid that, you know, I'll repent of that. And, and sometimes I'll, I, I might have the, I, I, I've had the tendency before to be in fear, be in doubt. Uh, but you know, uh, the Lord has, uh, you know, really convicted me about that, but you know, just don't worry about what people think of you repent and, and keep on the narrow path. It's a narrow way. If you go back to the world, if you backslide, if you, uh, compromise and try to go back and, and then you'll then you'll lose your salvation and I gotta stay on that narrow way and that's my goal that is my goal um, and I remember what the Lord did for me as my foundation and I try to uh, look forward to that to go through that narrow way in the future Lord willing um, So uh, I'm I'm going to make a couple announcements here uh, concerning my YouTube channel. Um, well, uh, shortly uh, I will be taking a break from YouTube. These will probably be my last videos for a while, uh, Lord, unless I feel led to uh, do something otherwise. Um, but uh, I, I'm probably not going to be making too many videos until fall. And there will be a few videos here and there, especially on this channel, uh, because this is just a personal channel. Uh, so uh, this is kind of free, free things, and I'm not really getting too heavy into video projects here. So you'll still see some videos on this channel. You might see a couple of videos on my other channel if I felt, like I said, if I feel led. Um, but uh, for the most part, there will not be any uh, too many videos until fall. And fall is when I'm really going to start working on my video projects again. Uh, but for now, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break. Um, so, uh, what's going to be going on uh, for, for my YouTube channels? Well, um, basically, I am going to try to do a video on my life story. And I don't know if I'm going to have that com completely finished by this weekend. Or maybe I might have to do a little bit of it next weekend as well, Lord willing. Uh, but that will probably be one of my last videos for a while. And then on fall, I will be doing a lot of videos. And I'm going to be talking about sins and uh, holidays that I believe are potentially sin. And some holidays that I think that are good um, and, and, and can be a blessing. And I'm going to be talking about various different things. And I'm going to be talking a lot about... History. I'm going to be talking a lot about theology. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about Halloween. I'm going to be talking about Thanksgiving, Columbus Day, and Reformation Month. And I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons, but really I'm going to be talking about holidays that are bad, holidays that are good. And there's not too many of them that are good. And there's only like uh, one or two that I consider good, but the rest of them I consider bad. And I'm sure you already know Halloween. And that's a bad, that's bad, that's a pagan, wicked holiday, and I'm going to be rebuking that and talking about that this fall. Lord willing, uh, if the Lord wills. Um, uh, sensationism and uh, will be on my Christian Studio Productions channel, and I'm going to be talking about the importance of, you know, the gifts of the Spirit and things like that. And I'm going to be talking about repentance on channel one and the importance of biblical repentance. Um... I was going to do those videos this weekend, but uh, I think that it's best to probably wait till fall uh, unless I feel led otherwise, Lord willing. Um, so that's what I got on my plate. And uh, uh, I hope my, my videos were a blessing to you this summer and this past year, but uh, I think now I'm going to need a break. Um, and that's all I got, and thank you for watching. Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger. And... Uh, today I'm going to continue in Biblical History and Extras, and I'm going to be talking about the Intertestamental Period. Um, so first of all, I just want to say, so just so that you're not confused, that this is not just a Biblical History playlist. This is a new project. I have completed my Biblical History uh, playlist, and that's all about Biblical History and only Biblical History. But this playlist is going to be called uh, Biblical History and Extras, which means uh, not just Biblical history, but also history that happened during the Biblical time period, uh, just so that I'm clear. And uh, right now, uh, 
I mean, inter, the intertestamental period. This is the period after the Old Testament canon. Um, this is history that is not found in Scripture, but um, it happened during biblical times. And uh, there are writings that contain uh, this type of uh, history called the Apocrypha. It is not inspired by God. It is not inspired scripture. The Jews do not consider this to be uh, scripture. And they do not consider this to be a part of the Old Testament. And the Jews were the ones that gave us the Old Testament. Uh, so don't get it confused. But this is just a... These writings just contain a record of Israel's history. And I'm not even saying to read it. I'm not even saying it's good. I'm just saying that these were writings during the intertestamental period. Um... But I'm not even going to be reading from the Apocrypha. I'm just going to be talking about general historical facts that happened uh, during the intertestamental period in general. Okay, so we got uh, Alexander the Great. He crosses uh, Asia, Asia Minor in 334 BC. So Alexander the Great was uh, the uh, Greek emperor. And he conquered uh, most of, really a lot of, a majority of the world. And he spread Hellenism throughout the world, and a lot of cultures they spoke Greek, uh, and it also influenced uh, places like Israel, and and stuff like that. And uh, Alexander's uh, empire uh, also uh, the ones that worked under his empire took control of Israel. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to be reading a couple things here. So, Palestine was ruled by the Seleucids. This was from 198 to 142 BC. And again, these were the ones that put uh, Hellenistic influence onto Israel uh, culture. <clears throat> So, um, we had a lot of issues that came with this, obviously, because they would start butting heads because uh, Greek culture would come into conflict with Israel culture. Uh, the temple was desecrated by paganism, by the, um, by the Seleucids, and uh, they sacrificed um, to idols in the uh, Israel temple. This happened in 167 uh, B.C., um, so we had uh, the Maccabean Revolt and this happened in 167 BC um, uh, I'm reading a couple facts uh, the temple uh, Maccabees ret retakes the temple in 165 BC the temple rededicated 164 BC uh, Judas Maccabees defeats Nicanor, uh, 161 BC. Judas Maccabee killed at Battle of uh, Elasa, 160 BC. <clears throat> Jews uh, claim freedom from foreign rule, 139 B uh, BC. Okay, so after the Maccabean Revolt, uh, Israel gained independence from the Seleucid Empire and uh, became a sovereign uh, nation of themselves. Uh, free from uh, Greek paganism. Okay. So, so we have the Maccabean Revolt. And then, uh, after the Maccabean Revolt, we go into uh, the Roman Empire, which would be the next great empire after uh, Greece. And... Uh, we had the siege of Jerusalem, which happened at 63 BC from Pompey the Great. He was a Roman leader, and uh, uh, and let's see. I'm going to read this here on Wikipedia. His conquest of Jerusalem, however, spelled the end of Jewish independence and the incorporation of Judea as a client kingdom of the Roman Republic. Okay, so now we have uh, Israel under the control of the Roman Empire. 
And this would set the stage for the events that would happen in the New Testament. And that's all I got, and thank you for watching.